Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the solution and discussion of gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering subject. This is lecture number 26. The topic is psychrometric. We take few questions from the psychrometric in the gate question paper, various gate question paper and we solve and discuss the solutions. The first question is from 2003 question paper for air with relative humidity 80 percent. There are four things given. The dry bulb temperature is less than the wet bulb temperature. The dew point temperature is less than the wet bulb temperature. Dew point temperature and wet bulb temperatures are equal. Dry bulb temperature and dew point temperatures are equal. So, among the four answers, the first answer is not true. The dry bulb temperature is less than the wet bulb temperature. That is not true. Dry bulb temperature is always greater than the wet bulb temperature. C and D also, they are not true. The dew point temperature, wet bulb temperature, they are not equal. And the dry bulb temperature, dew point temperature are not equal. So, the correct answer is dew point temperature is less than the wet bulb temperature. And uh, we will see how. So, we refer to the psychrometric chart. So, this is 80 percent relative humidity line. And we locate a point in the 80 percent relative humidity line. To measure the wet bulb temperature, we have to draw a line parallel to the enthalpy line. So, the inclined line parallel to the red color line. This is this reads the wet bulb temperature on the, the saturation line. So, here we have the wet bulb temperature and to find the dew point temperature from the same point we have to draw the horizontal line. So, it is meeting here. So, if you look at the this is wet bulb temperature and this is dew point temperature. So, the dew point temperature is always less than the wet bulb temperature for 80 percent relative humidity. The next question from 2004 question paper during chemical dehumidification process of air during the chemical dehumidification process of air there are four options given dry bulb temperature and specific humidity decrease decrease dry bulb temperature increases and the specific humidity decreases dry bulb temperature decreases and the specific humidity increases dry bulb temperature and specific humidity increases increase so the correct answer is dry bulb temperature increases specific humidity decreases during the chemical dehumidification process. We will see how in the next slide again we refer to the psychrometric chart. So, the in the psychrometric chart, so the line the black color line is what called as chemical dehumidification. So, the downward R record is given for dehumidification and the upward R record for the humidification chemical humidification. So, here it is chemical dehumidification. So, this is the start of the process and this is the end of the process. So, look at the parameter, the specific humidity decreases and the dry bulb temperature increases. So, dry bulb temperature here it is somewhere 7, 18 and here it is 32. So, the dry bulb temperature increases, specific humidity decreases. And the next question from 2005 question paper, for a typical sample of ambient air at 35 degrees Celsius, 75 percent relative humidity and the saturated atmospheric pressure, the amount of moisture in the moisture in kg per kg of dry air will be approximately the four answers are given 0 0.02 kilogram per kg of dry air, 0 0.027 kg per kg of dry air, 0 0.25 kg per kg of dry air and 0 0.75 kg per kg of dry air. So, we have to solve the problem. So, what is given? Dry bulb temperature is 35 degree Celsius, relative humidity is 75 percent and from the steam table, we have to take the saturation pressure at 35 degree Celsius, P s equal to 0 0.05622 bar. So, the vapor pressure equal to relative humidity into saturation pressure. So, 0 0.75 into 5.622 equal to 4.2165 kilo Pascal. Now, the specific humidity equal to 0.622 into P V by P atmosphere minus P V. So, this is the formula that you have to remember for calculating the specific humidity it is atmospheric pressure here, but normally it is total pressure. So, here atmosphere it is it is happening in the atmospheric air. So, the substituting numerical value is 0.622 into 4.2165 divided by 101.325 minus 
2165 this is equal to 0 0.027 kg per kg of air so the answer is option b 0 0.027 kg per kg of dry air next question again from 2005 question paper water at 42 degree celsius is sprayed into a stream of air at atmospheric pressure dry bulb temperature is 40 degree celsius and wet bulb temperature is 20 degree celsius the air leaving the spray humidifier is not saturated so which of the following statement is true air gets cooled and humidifier humidified air gets heated and humidified air gets heated and dehumidified air gets cooled and dehumidified so here look at the condition water temperature is 42 degree celsius it is sprayed into the steam so humidity will increase this is adding water vapor is humidification so humidification is taking place so it is humidified but the, so the first two options any one of the first two options so c d and d they are not correct so the because the water is sprayed into the air the humidification is taking place but look at the temperature the water temperature is 42 degree celsius and the atmospheric temperature is 40 degree celsius so the temperature of water which is sprayed it is higher than the temperature of the air so the air is getting heated and humidified so the temperature of the spray sprayed water is higher than the atmospheric temperature 40 degree celsius so it is heated air is heated and humidified so the spray temperature of water is greater than the dry bulb temperature so air is getting heated and humidified the next question is from 2006 question paper dew point temperature is the temperature at which condensation begins when the air is cooled at a constant volume entropy pressure and enthalpy now look at this chart so this is the chart where the temperature entropy diagram so this is the atmosphere temperature it is cooled and here it is the dew point temperature so when the air is cooled it the dew starts to form so the dew point temperature the temperature at which water starts to condense is called as dew point temperature so from here it is condensed and it is the dew point temperature so during this process pressure is constant so the dew point temperature is a temperature at which the condensation begins when the air is cooled at a constant pressure next question from 2011 question paper if your mass of moist air in an airtight vessel is heated to a higher temperature so it is airtight vessel it is heated at a higher temperature then the specific humidity of the air increases specific humidity of the air decreases relative humidity of the air increases relative humidity of the air decreases so the it is a airtight vessel it is heated so it is heated so the relative humidity of the air decreases so we will see how referring to the psychrometric chart so this is the psychrometric chart so what is the process vessel is heated at constant at a, to a higher temperature so look at here the temperature is the, it is heated so it is sensible heating process so the temperature is increased and what happens to relative humidity so relative humidity decreases so here the relative humidity is somewhere 70 percent and here it is uh, somewhere 30 percentage so relative humidity decreases that is the answer next question from 2013 question paper the pressure dry bulb temperature and relative humidity of air in a room are 1 bar 30 degree celsius and 70 percent respectively if the saturated steam pressure is 30 degree celsius and 4.425 4 kilopascal the specific humidity of the room air in kg of kg water per kg of dry air is there are four options 0 0.0083 uh, 0 0.0101 0 0.0191 0 0.0232 we have to select the best correct answer so the given data so we have to solve the problem we write down the given data dry bulb temperature is 30 degree celsius relative humidity is 70 percent saturation pressure is given as at 30 degree celsius it is 4.25 kilopascal and now we have to calculate the vapor pressure pv equal to relative humidity into saturation pressure so which is 0.7 into 4.25 equal to 2.975 kilopascal now the specific humidity we have to take the formula uh, the 0.622 into pv by p atmosphere minus pv so 0.622 into 2.975 divided by 100 it is given as one bar so 100 kilopascal minus 2.975 
so calculating 0 0.0191 kg per kg of air so the correct answer is option c 0 0.0191 kg per kg of air next question from 2014 question paper moist air at 35 degree celsius and its 100 percent relative humidity is entering a psychrometric device and leaving at 25 degree celsius again 100 percent relative humidity the name of the device is humidifier dehumidifier sensible heater sensible cooler so the relative humidity is same 100 percent but the temperature is decreasing from 35 degree celsius to 25 degree celsius the process is dehumidification so the process is dehumidification and we will see how in the next uh, chart so here we have the psychrometric chart and the red color line this red color line is the 100 percent relative humidity that is saturation line the temperature is 35 degree to 25 degree is the temperature is decreasing in the same line from 25 35 degree to 25 degree celsius and this is dehumidification process removal of water vapor next question from 2014 question paper a sample of moist air at a total pressure of 85 kilopascal has a dry bulb temperature 30 degree celsius the saturation vapor pressure at uh, of water is 4.24 kilopascal at 30 degree celsius if the sample if the air sample has a relative humidity of 65 percentage the absolute humidity in grams of water water vapor per kg of dry air is dash we have to calculate the absolute humidity or specific humidity and once again the data given pressure equal to 85 kilopascal dry bulb temperature is 30 degree celsius and relative humidity is 65 percentage the saturation pressure at 30 degree celsius is given as 4.24 kilopascal so we calculate the vapor pressure so vapor pressure equal to relative humidity into saturation pressure so 0.65 into 4.24 equal to 2.756 kilopascal and we calculate the specific humidity using the formula 0.622 into pv by p atmosphere minus pv substituting numerical values 0.622 into 2.756 divided by 85 the total pressure is 85 minus uh, 2.756 equal to 0 0.0208 kg per kg of air the answer is 20.8 grams per kg of dry air the next question from 2015 question paper a steam of moist air mass flow rate is 10.1 kg per second with a humidity ratio 0 0.01 kg per kg of dry air mixes with second steam superheated vapor superheated water vapor flowing at the 0.1 kg per second assuming proper and uniform mixing there is no condensation and the humidity ratio humidity ratio of the final steam in kg per kg of dry air is dash so we are given mass of the air mass of the moist air m equal to 10.1 kilograms per second with a humidity ratio specific humidity w1 equal to 0 0.01 kg per kg of air and uh, at the outlet the specific humidity is mv2 equal to 0 0.1 kg per second now m equal to mass of the mixer mass of the moist air equal to ma plus mv1 so for the initial initial condition so we divide by ma m by ma equal to 1 plus mv by ma so mass of the vapor divided by mass of the dry air equal to specific humidity 1 plus w1 so m by m a equal to 1 plus 0 0.01 equal to 1.01 .01. so m a equal to m divided by 1.01 .01. so m is the total mass of the moist air so 10.1 divided by 1.01 .01 equal to 10 so m v equal to m v1 equal to uh, specific humidity into m a which is 0.01 into 10 equal to 0.1 kgs per second so the mass of the vapor initially mass of the vapor initially 0.1 kgs per second then total vapor after mixing so mass of the vapor mass of the total vapor equal to mass of mv1 plus mv2 which is 0.1 plus 0.1 equal to 0.2 kilograms per second so the answer is specific humidity of the mixer final mixer equal to w equal to mv by ma equal to 0.2 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.02 kilograms per kg of air so the answer is 0 0.02 kilogram per kilogram of dry air so the humidity ratio of the final steam equal to 0 0.02 kg per kg of dry air next question from 2017 question paper if a mass of moist air contained in a closed metallic vessel is heated then 
it its relative humidity decreases relative humidity increases specific humidity decrease increases specific humidity decreases the correct answer is relative humidity decreases so the cyclometric chart from the cyclometric chart we can see it is heated so the relative humidity decreases next question from 1989 question paper wet bulb depression under saturated ambient air conditions is always positive is always negative is always zero may have a value depending upon the dew point temperature the answer is is always zero we will see for 100% relative humidity wet bulb temperature equal to dew point temperature wbt equal to dpt so the wet bulb depression is the difference between is the formula wbt minus dpt that is always zero that is the option c is always zero the next question from 1990 question paper atmospheric air from 40 degree celsius 60% relative humidity can be brought to 20 degree celsius and 60% relative humidity by cooling dehumidification cooling humidification adiabatic saturation process sensible cooling process so the temperature relative humidity is the same but the temperature uh, decreasing the answer is cooling and dehumidification so by cooling and dehumidification we can reduce the temperature keeping the relative humidity as constant we will see how in the next slide with the help of the cyclometric chart so look at the cyclometric chart so this is 60% relative humidity 40 degree celsius and again 60% relative humidity and 20 degree celsius so we have to travel along the blue color line so the process is cooling dehumidification next question from 1991 question paper if the moist air is cooled by sensible heat removal which of the following is true there are four options neither specific humidity nor relative humidity change specific humidity changes but not relative humidity both the specific humidity and relative humidity change none of the above so it is moist air is cooled by sensible heat removal process so for sensible heat removing Uh, specific humidity is constant dry bulb temperature decreases so nothing is found here so for sensible cooling process dry bulb temperature decreases specific humidity is constant and relative humidity increases so here none of the above is the correct answer because the options given are irrelevant to the process defined the next question from 1999 question paper select the statement from list 2 matching the process in list 1 enter your answer as dc if the correct choice for 1 is d and uh, that for 2 is c list 1 first process cooling dehumidification second process chemical dehumidification list 2 uh, we have four options option a dry bulb temperature increases but dew point temperature decreases dew point temperature increases but dry bulb temperature remains change unchanged option c dry and wet bulb temperature decrease option d dry bulb temperature decreases but dew point temperature increases so for the answer for one cooling dehumidification option c is correct dry and wet bulb temperature decreases for chemical dehumidification a is correct so for cooling dehumidification the correct answer is dew dry and wet bulb temperatures are decreasing so option c for a second list chemical dehumidification the correct answer is dry bulb temperature increases but dew point temperature decreases the next question from 2001 question paper for air at a given temperature as relative humidity is increased isothermally there are four options the wet bulb temperature and specific humidity specific enthalpy increase the wet bulb temperature and specific enthalpy decrease wet bulb temperature increases and the specific humidity specific enthalpy decreases wet bulb temperature decreases and the specific enthalpy increases the answer is wet bulb temperature and the specific enthalpy increase increase so we will see how in the cyclometric chart so this is the process so what is the process air at a given uh, uh, given temperature as a relative humidity increases isothermally at constant temperature relative humidity is increasing so this is the process so for this process wet bulb temperature and the specific enthalpy increases that is the answer 
So we stop here. So these are all the books I have published in mechanical engineering subject. You can use it, use the books for your preparation for the gate examination. And I have a YouTube channel where I upload the video lectures of the subject mentioned here. And the solution for gate question papers is also uploaded in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, uh, use the video lectures for your better preparation and pass in the gate examination. So thank you for watching. Please post your comments in the comments box. So subscribe the channel and you can write to my mail ID for any clarification on the subject. Uh, we will meet again with another set of questions in the uh, gate question paper.